MODE Neural EA is an MT5 trading board and you can download it from MQL5 market for free. Whenever I search for a free EA on MQL5 market, I found this EA on the top. The developer of this EA clearly mentioned that this EA is only best for the Euro USD and no one needs to waste their time on other pairs. But I decided to do it in that optimization on gold, JPP USD, AUD JPY, AUD CHF, and your USD, including AUD CAD. In this video, I will show you the reports and results of each pair one by one. Watch the full video to get a clear idea of the strength and weakness of this EA. I am doing all this hard work for you. Subscribe now and press the bell icon to get a notification whenever I publish a video about the reports and results of any EA on this channel. Without wasting any time, let's begin. Welcome back to Trading Board Lab. First of all, we will see how you can download this EA from MQL5 Marketplace into MT5 Terminal for free. So, first you need to open the terminal you need to log in your mql5 account if you don't know how to do all this you can watch this video on my channel where i explain every step in detail once you logged into the account and then you can simply go here the tools the mql5 market and from here click on the experts experts and then from the drop down click free and you will see this ea on the top if you not see this ea you simply need to search here the n o d e node n e u r a l so this one click on it and here you will see a button called download simply you need to click on the download and you will see this board here in the expert the market section as you can see i already have downloaded this report here right click on it and press the test this will load the robot in the strategy tester and from here i will select my desired pair where i want to back test or i want to do optimization on my desired time frame the custom date i am doing all this on last 12 months the forward with no delays no latency and modeling this option is very important and you must select this option every tick based on real ticks and then the deposit should be in cents uh, i am using my cent account so here there is no option option to select cent but i may need to usd i have 50000 cents in my account with a leverage of 1000 and that's it the robot is ready to test but before doing testing we need to understand the nature the strategy and the working of this board to understand that we need to move to the inputs and here the input settings will tell us how this robot is working what strategy is used Using in this EA. In the first input setting, you need to set the unique identifier called magic number, not, not impact on the strategy. The strategy time frame is a chart time frame. The selection of the lot size, yes, I can select my desired lot size. For now, I will select the minimum lot size 0 0.01, the lot multiplier, the take profit, step size. Here we can see clearly this board is purely based on Martingale strategy where we set the lot size, the lot multiplier, the tip profit and the grid gap after how much gap it should open more and more orders. The maximum allowed spread show information on the charts and that's it. This means this board is simple martingale stretch but the optimization and back testing process will tell us if this is a strong EA or not. Before using any robot it is very important to do it in this depth optimization and back testing on our desired period and time frame to figure out the best performing input settings for that robot. To do that, I already have completed the optimization process on six uh, seven pairs i think the so one two three four five six i already have completed the optimization process on these six pairs and uh, let's 
open the first folder AUD cache. In this folder, you see total seven files. In each folder, there will be total seven files. This file is the dot set file. This means if you want to use this robot on AUD cache, you can simply load this set file. And to see the performance on the screen, you can see the results of AUD cache. I have done it on the two prime technology broker with the deposit of 50,000 USC. I'm using Sant account. Don't focus on this deep because it's not matter. The figure is matter. It's a 500 or maybe 50,000. No matter. It's a USB or USC. The leverage is 1,000. On the AUD care, the maximum profitability is on the screen. You can see here the profit factor and the recovery factor. The recovery factor is the ratio between total drawdown and the total net profit. The profit factor is 1.7 mean gross profit is 1.7 times higher than its gross loss. The next important factor is the total trades. It opened 1750 trades in the last 12 months. The consecutive losses, the consecutive wins and losses and profits and loss and the profitability, the win ratio and everything you can see. Now let's move to down and take a look at the graph. The graph is consistently going up and I like this kind of graph because there is no big drawdown so that's why in the live trading I can expect this boat with this set file on the AUD CAD will not give the big drawdowns. If I move more down here you can see the profit and losses by month. So every month is closed in profit and it's amazing. Now let's move to the next report and that is AUD CHF. Again I will open the file for AUD CHF the same parameters but its recovery factor is 4 4.33 this means the total net profit is 4.33 times higher than its drawdown and all other values are on the screen clearly you can see all these values and now let's move down to the graph the graph is again going consistently upward this means we can use this graph without expecting any big drawdown now move down to the profit and losses by months this is an important factor if every month is closed in profit or not we can see here under this now let's move to the next pair go to the folder and here the AUD JPY again here you can see the same deposit same leverage and this time the recovery factor is a little bit higher and the profit factor is 1.84 all other values are on the screen you can pause the video and read and note all these values if we move down to the graph the graph is again consistently going upward but at these two points you see a sharp upward move this means that at this point it may face a loss it may face a drawdown okay so the maximum drawdown is only $24 or if you are working with a cent this means $2,490 let's take a look on the profit and losses by months and here again all months are closed in profit in the june there was a very few trading activities but all other months are with good trading activity and every month is closed in profits let's move to the next pair go here the next pair is your university as you know the developer is strongly recommend to use it on the your usd and not other peers